Hello guys and welcome back again in another requested video. As someone has requested the new uh, Honda Endline uh, 3 1 liter turbo engine. I tried really hard to search online for it. Uh, I've searched all the specs, you know, the compression ratio. I found the compression ratio, but I did not find the correct bore and stroke configuration. So I just improvised from, you know, from my mind. I made the stroke higher and the bore lower so uh, I can get higher torque than usual because this engine is torquey I mean it produced 142 pound-feet of torque which is really really good for uh, for a 1 liter 3 cylinder engine uh, also uh, I found that this engine is an aluminium uh, block and uh, with aluminium head it has a uh, VTEC of course which means uh, VVL or available valve lift uh, which yes I think they work the same way I mean the cam profile is uh, very small and very economical at uh, normal slow RPM and when you bank shift it and uh, you know hit that high RPM the VTEC will uh, you know will uh, will uh, we call it will work and uh, you will just fly off the line or fly keep on flying yes using VTEC VTEC yo so here are the specs in line 3 cylinder engine with aluminium block 70.6 millimeter bore, 50, 85 millimeter stroke, which equals 998.3 cc, which is the correct size. Variable valve lift, which is uh, you know VTEC, and uh, with four valves per cylinder, dual overhead camshaft, uh, cast iron blow uh, crank, cast uh, cast connecting rods, and cast pistons. Plus three quality. I know you will find in this video the quality the quality range is very very. I'm not. I'm not gonna say inaccurate, but I had to do it this way so I can uh, hit the factory correct uh, power and torque figure. So and also I found that the compression ratio is 10.0 to 1, which is this. This is the factory compression ratio. 48 cam profile, which is the uh, the most economical profile on this engine in in this shape uh, in the game, of course, not in real life. The VVL is 71 or the VTEC profile. Uh, it has variable valve timing for all cams. Awesome. Plus 15 quality, as I said before, you will find the quality range of parts in this engine are, uh, you know, relevant to another engines because I had to do it this way so I can hit the power and torque according to the factory specs. Turbocharger with ball bearing, medium size uh, intercooler with. 29mm uh, compressor and 28 turbine the R ratio is uh, 0.983 the boost is 17.8 PSI I know it's it's high it has a high PSI boost but that is so we can hit the 142 pound feet of torque I mean uh, if I lower the boost to 10 PSI maybe it will never hit the, the correct uh, what call them the torque Plus 15 quality again, so yes, this is the best turbo ever. Next thing is, yes, this engine has direct fuel injection with single throttle body, it's the standard intake. It runs on 91 octane fuel, which I managed to do. Look at this 91 octane here with 10.0 to 1 compression ratio and 17.8 psi, running on regular crappy 91 octane fuel. Awesome. The fuel mixture is 13.0, uh, which is um, somehow high. The, compression, the ignition timing is 55, which is medium or close to advanced. 7,000 RPM. I don't know how uh, the exact RPM of this engine, but I assumed that will be 7,000, maybe because, uh, as we all know, all Hondas rev really high. Plus 15 quality again. The exhaust system is is running on 2.2 inches or 57.1 uh, millimeters. The catalytic converter is the high flow three way, reverse flow muffler for a quiet sound and a straight through for a little bit quiet and good performance. Plus 13 because no need for 15. As you can see, this is the power uh, band or the power range. I mean, yes, I think the the factories Honda inline three one liter turbo. Uh, the power band of it is better than this one. I mean, the, I, th I think the boost in real life starts earlier, maybe, but this is the earliest thing I, c I could manage with 142 pound feet of torque. 
I mean, this is the earliest thing I can do <coughs> with this setup. I mean, I, I, I could, or I actually, I did made it start from 2000 and even below 2000, but it will only make 92 pound feet of torque, not 142. So yes, we have to work with what we got. The horsepower, as I said, 129, which is the correct factory horsepower with the torque, of course, both of them are correct. And we are running on 91 fuel, as I said, 91 octane. So let's hear this beast fire up. It's quiet, it's reliable, I mean, of course it's reliable, everything is on plus 15 except the pistons or the bottom end. 98.8, which is super high. The, if the economy, I think, in, in the real engine is higher than this, but 20% it's good, it's good, it's, it's not bad, I mean, uh, 20, 20s, 30s, these are the excellent range, I mean, 40, that's a Prius range, yes, and, uh, you know, the 10, 15, this is the racing car range, so 20 is a sporty slash street engine, you know, range, the uh, smoothness, it's not really, it's good, it can, it's good for, for the size, and the throttle response is good also for the for the applic application because this is a street engine. This is not a sporty or racing engine, so yes, good good for the street. And it's lightweight, ish. And I, it's it's good. I mean, it's good. I tried hard and I found uh, some of the specs, most of the specs, and I did it according to them. And uh, I just improvise. So let's hear let's hear the driving. As you can as you can hear this is the this is the uh, torque this is the torque range here yes it's 142 like here and this is the turbo this is the boost sound as you can see here I mean, as you all know, this turbo wasn't designed there so we can rev it up to the max. This turbo was only designed so it can give you the maximum torque here and then the turbo will just be uh, like a clog in, in the way of air. I mean, it, it, it would just be a restriction of air after uh, 5000 RPM. Look. Actually, after 5,000, maybe maybe after 6,400, it, it will start to die. This uh, turbo. I mean, it will not die. It will not explode. But this turbo wasn't designed for um, you know for high revving engines. I mean, this is the plus 15 turbo, plus 15 quality. So yes, even with its small size, yes, it it, it can keep up up to 6,300, which is impressive. I mean, in real life, the this small turbo cannot keep up after. 5000 it will just be a restriction on the way so uh, this is it this is the new Honda inline 3 engine 1 liter turbo i tried really really close to make it as close as possible to the real to the real deal or the real engine and uh, i hope that i succeed with it i hope you really like this video and uh, if you really if you like this video remember guys to hit that like button smash the like button always and uh, if you are not, not a subscriber, please subscribe and you will enjoy it. Just subscribe. You will enjoy every bit of it. Because I always post uh, you know, good engines. I always try to, be, to make the best engines as, as possible as I can. Thank you so much guys for watching. Remember to hit that uh, ringing bell button something. So you can uh, get a notification each time I upload a new video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in the next video soon. And bye bye.